And hello, guys, Nathaniel Clay from Just Best Play. And Hunter. And today, we actually want to talk to something that could be worrying, but people should not be too worried about. And that is that the Switch is apparently melting while it's in this dock mode. Okay, now the first thing that people need to know is the fact that there this is somewhat of an isolated incident. There has been only two switches that have been confirmed to have this problem. Mm -hmm. It plays, but it melts a little bit. Like it's twitching or folding or whatever. Um, yeah, it's doing the same thing that the iPhone was doing around the launch of the, I think the 6th or 7th model. I think it's the 6th model, and it's it's not as bad as Bengate, but it's technically morphing at the back of the tablet of the the back side of the switch is basically was morphing at. Um I'm looking at a photo right now and they have it over a pink um iPad case and I can see where it's kinda of bent a little bit. And I find it a little bit interesting because it kinda of questions you know, even though it's an isolated incident, it does question the build quality of the Nintendo Switch tablet and how strong the plastic really is. Not just that, but also the dock. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, it quest it's questionable. The whole... I, I, I said it before, a while ago, or a long time ago, that I would not be getting a Switch, even if I had the money, until by the end of the year. Um, because issues like this can happen. Just remember the Xbox 360. It had the the red ring of death. It was the worst you know, problem that that Microsoft had to deal with, and Nintendo. If this gets out of hand, mm -hmm. this is gonna hurt the Nintendo brand pretty damn hard. It is they can't figure out how to fix it. Remember, two devices can become worse. People need to understand that the um, dock issue was is kind of isolated. This is isolated. It's not big yet. The issue, I have to agree with you a lot though, that dock is one of the hugest issues that they're having with this device, and holy fucking shit, if they can fix the way, you know, the, the build quality of the dock is made, then maybe this can try to fix this issue for future Nintendo Switches that are purchased, because the most issues with the console have been happening due to issues with the dock. And that's completely noticeable with even incidents like this. I don't understand why. I, I hear that there's a lot of really bad heatsink issues with the back piping of the Nintendo Switch when it's actually... Um, remember, there's the back part of the Switch that's like speakers a little bit, but it's really... It's, it's more yeah. like airflow is supposed to be going back there and going out the bottom, the bottom half of the console. And that's pretty interesting as well. And you would never think that that would really be enough to cool it down a lot. Well, uh, well, okay. To me, this is this is more than just one problem. Like, look, like, it's not just the dock. It's not just if it's the cooling system on the dock, but it's it's like it's it's both. To me, it, you can't just blame one, and you only can blame. You gotta blame the whole thing. You can't just say, "Oh, it's this," or "or it's the tablet." I'm I'm honestly wondering what is the issue here. What is the biggest issue here? Is it the dock? If it's just the dock, then why don't they just sell the switch with the tablet and the controllers and not the damn dock? Well, if they do that, then they will have to knock off a lot of the costs off of the unit, and that would hurt them long t long term. Because believe it or not. The three hundred dollar price tag is as good as they can get with this. Um, if you think about well, it, well, for now, yeah, the hybrid they have to do this. Nintendo needs to make a profit on this console, and they can't really cut back on much of anything right now. They really can't. They're being successful with it right now, extremely successful. At the same time, it is starting to piss people off because of, you know the scalping. The even I, I'm surprised that Amazon now has scalping. You know, yeah. When you go to Amazon. And you're seeing them being sold, and, and and they're brand new, but by you know third party sellers for like two hundred plus more dollars than the three hundred dollar price tag, four hundred, five hundred dollars. Um, that's already a big issue. This is gonna be something that if they don't figure it out, it's gonna be a it, it can get worse over the future. I honestly think that I'm gonna be completely honest. The Switch does feel kind of cheap. I've noticed that a lot. I don't think I'll be taking my dock out much after this because what I'm thinking happened is that the dock and the Nintendo Switch bends a lot. I'm thinking that 
what is going on with the Nintendo Switch. In this case, ooh, I'm sorry, I just went on, I yawned a bit. I've, I've been reading so many articles on this, just to make sure I'm saying the right shit. But what I honestly think that happened is that the Switch was, dock was bending with the unit overall, and it was causing it to have the same issue. It was going to mimic it as it bent over as well. So someone bent a lot of pressure onto the plastic area of the Switch. They basically it morphed with the heat as well so it's like the dock has to be has to be bent in as well you know what i mean okay so yeah, it's yeah. not just it's not just the heat itself that's bending it it's the dock and the and and the switch itself the pad that are bending at the same time yes so so that's since, that's a monstrous nightmare because if you think about it the um front small and this is just by my sheer observation of um, what i'm noticing and I think, I don't know if I can find the images on it, but um, I'm going to see if I can actually look up and find. Why is this not loading at all? A little moment of technical difficulties here. So, so I That's think sure. someone seriously made a... Someone made like a photo showing that Showing how bad the um, dock can get. The dock is um, pretty cheap, as I can say. It, it, someone did show a side-by-side -side photo of when you, like, for example, you see, like, one dock is bent and one is not. To be honest, that is right there, you know, proving that this could be a little bit true. And a bit harmful, and oh yeah, most definitely they need to fix it. It can be a very large turnoff, you know, for any form of you know future customer. Because I, I'll be honest, I want to get a Nintendo Switch, but th there are I see the drawbacks, and this is one of them. To me, unless they can patch this, I will not buy it. Because that means that this thing, the Switch, can break down in any moment, and then that's waste of money. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I'm yeah, sort yeah. of a conservative consumer, or I'm very cautious with my money, and this is one of the reasons why I wouldn't buy it. Yeah, it's, it's, it's something they picture. need to understand that, you know, that no one is, like, like for example, who, who had this photo? If I can find this photo. Because, remember, Angry Joe did quote on this. Like, yeah, um, let's make sure that Nintendo finds out about how bad, you know, the build quality is. And, okay, at first when I saw the, um, at first when I heard about the poor build quality of the Joy-Cons, I was like, okay, that's a little bit more, you know, understandable. The Joy-Cons are, are mini controllers. Those break easily. They're easy to fucking replace. So, yeah, that makes sense. Will they fix this no. is beyond me. But um the I doubt the, it. The, even the user said that you can actually like spin it on the on the table and stuff like that. And I was like that is not good at all. You What's really that? cannot have, you know, something like that. That's that's actually that right there is going to make people go like, "Hey, but I just learned this news. Should I wait on this?" Like, I would, I would say, like at that point, I'll be like, "Yeah, that's, you know." That might be just, just back off, basically. Yeah. Yeah, just I know a, what you a little mean. bit longer. I, I'm not gonna say this console launch is rushed. I don't want to say this console launch is rushed, but overall, but me, so honest, far, it feels, it feels like yeah, it does, right? Huh? It honestly feels like it is. Like okay, yeah, it I'm. Is. It feels like. It is. As much as everybody loves Nintendo, I'm and I'm sort of getting into understanding why people like it, and I, I'm becoming a, a well, not a fanatic, but I'm starting to I'm starting to become a person that likes Nintendo products, partially. Oh God, it's gonna come by me and ask. Anyway, uh, what I'm getting, trying to get to the point is, this. This it doesn't seem like something that's going to be quickly fixed. You know what I mean? Oh, no, it doesn't. If, I heard that they pulled the docks from the store, and I'm like, okay. 
Uh, but again, that's that's what I'm getting at. Like, they're gonna, they might be pulling it out, but when is the 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 fixed doc gonna come in? When is the new doc that won't be doing this shit gonna come in? Okay, is, see, in I, have, even, I have the doc in my hand. This thing is, it's it's very cheaply made. As I wish, you know, okay. ma- ma- maybe I can defend them on this, but the doc is um, the doc's pretty cheap. I, I'm gonna be the first to say this. It's pretty fucking cheap. I don't think I've really uh, ever hold the dock this cheap before. Um, the the inside and up. So that's why, you know, I had to put my cloth down to be able to actually, you know, a- actually play anything because I am scared about the screen scratching issue. Now I have to be scared about this. So now I know. But here, here's what I'm wondering as well. You know what? I'm let me play devil's advocate here. Did this person turn okay. off sleep mode on their console? Like, did it, um, how were they able to literally, how was it able to stay on this long for it to start overheating? Were they playing? Were they leaving it idle? Was it a very hot day? What's the location that they're using this console in? Is it regular wear and tear? There are too many factors. Hmm? There are, if you're going to get super technical about it, like, mm-hmm. like you just said right now, there are too many factors to take into account. There are too many factors, like you said. Uh, how many? How long was this person playing on it? Number one. Number two. Like it, it, everything you said right now is true. If you're gonna get into technicality here, and that's what Nintendo's going to do, they are going to, like any other company, see what what was the failure, where was it, and how to fix it. But my issue here is when is the fix coming? That's a good question. That's a good question. Companies... I mean, it's not right away. I mean, yeah, of course it's not right knows. away. But this, this is why, this is why I have an issue with this. See, this is why this is, this gets really, really bad, and a lot of people might get nervous. Like you, like Nintendo needs to know that you are a consumer. So of course you're gonna be yes. like, hey, I want to know you guys are gonna fix this shit because this shit is troubling, and if I want, if you want me to buy your unit, I have to know if this thing's gonna do well. Yeah, you are most definitely fucking correct. Um, they need to get this info out faster, but I honestly think that at this point, Nintendo really should have... They, they really should have tried to make sure the dock was in perfect quality, because the dock is probably extremely cheaply made. That's one thing I cannot defend. The dock is not a cool, a good build quality. It's not worth the three hundred. It's not three hundred dollars worth. It, you know what I mean? Like if you yeah, like Samsung, mean, even though it. Samsung makes like exploding phones, last year they did that. They're kind of getting better with the S8. I wish them luck on that. Um, if they would have released something like that, I think people would have been extremely pissed because the dock is one of the main points you buy the console to be able to when you're at home play it on your television very easily projector tv computer whatever you know yeah like 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 what you said it, it okay the big thing is it's that the the switch the the the, the console itself mm-hmm. not the dock got a lot of love it got a lot of well attention you could say, mm-hmm. that they put attention to detail to it. And the dock, it was like a second, you know, like, last minute kind of thing. You know what I mean? That's what it feels like. And, again, going back to when is this going to get fixed, it's it's troubling thought, and especially since it's Nintendo. Nintendo has been known to be, how do I put this, old school about things? Usually before, like you said before, Nintendo used to care a lot about what the consumer thinks. Now, it's more like, what do the executives want and what they think? You know what I mean? I I, I somewhat have that ideal still, though. I I agree with you slightly on that. It's it's more like they, but they had no choice. You have to give them that, though. They had no choice. Um, if Nintendo had released this, and I'm luckily they actually did not release this last year, if they had released it around December, I think that they would have been able to use all this time to iron out the bugs. Because having this release in the March timeline, technically spring, um, it's going to it's going to be extremely helpful. And while I think that it was they're rushing it for the investors, I they had they had no choice. They had no choice this time, but yeah, other times I wouldn't defend them on, on shitty practices like, like you know, like not having virtual console games at launch. Nintendo, I did not forget about that. 
at all. Do, do not think I forgot sure. about that. They they didn't. Uh, um, you better be like, lucky. There's Neo Geo games on the eShop, but um, they, th- I mean, they have to rush it because investors need it. Need it, you know, hardware for this year. You know, that's true. But even then, even even if the rush. Okay, here's here's my issue. Here's my big issue. Why this is the rush was a bad idea. Okay, the lineup of games for the Switch it seems like it's more down near near the end of the year. Correct? Um, slightly. Cause we have Mario Kart it's slightly coming out yeah. in this month. True, true, true. But if those games and the Switch were pushed not into the like near the end of the summer. Not before the end of the year, but near the end of the summer, it would have given them time to work out the kinks. Still within the year, still within, well, a bit more in the second quarter, not in the, not in the third or fourth quarter, but in the second quarter, and they still will have had plenty of revenue by then. The hype before the search came out was real. People just... Like sat and, like for months, man, just waiting for the Nintendo Switch to come out, and then when people course, get it, out. But, uh, yeah, the, I, it I was agree with you on that. Though, in my opinion, that, that I, I do agree with you that on that a lot. I I think that what they can do now, though, is try to get this person, the person's content. Tra- oh well, I hope they don't have pain with that. Nintendo doesn't really have a fucking cloud service for this yet, or not one. I think I think this one with your account, but I think it works. It's very convoluted. Hopefully, the person's console and unit gets replaced. I bet there's like a eighty percent chance it is. But hopefully, the person is able to keep his downloaded content or keep his um, you know, keep his game saves or whatever like that. Because Nintendo has been replacing a lot of units lately from a lot of companies. You know, release defective products like early um, unsinking um, switch. You know, Joy Cons. You're able to send them in and get them fixed. So I do hope that they treat this customer with a lot of respect because. And even uh, yeah, and not just that, but I I hope that they they started g- gathering the switches at least right now or whatever and start testing them a little more. You know, push them to the limits of. A gamer to a consumer, not not a normal person, but an a, a, an extremist or an extreme way you could say, because you know gamers, we gamers, we play for long periods of time. We push the console to the limits from time to time. Mm-hmm. You sure That's do. because we get for a long amount of time too. Yeah, so they they need to think not just like how is the consumer going to get this, but what about the dedicated fan? And the gamer, what would happen when they get in their hands? How long will they play? Yada yada yada. Nintendo doesn't sort of think that way a little bit. They used to. It feels like they used to, but now they're not. And that's my big issue here. They're gonna have to bring if, if they find a big flaw in the in the damn dock. How many people are gonna go, go come back, get a new one, or buy a new one? There's already the, flaws that, in the dock. The you already um, pretty much know that. It, it scratches your screen very easily, and you're going to need to. N- now, and at this point, we actually, you know, have oh, What more flaws can we find? That's the thing. Well, These are two flaws. Mm-hmm. But how many more are there that we don't know of, and which probably we're going to find out in the next couple of months? Yeah, that's Because the thing, this is like a waiting game. We're going to wait until we see how far... This thing's gonna go before it completely cracks, and then they have to issue new ones. Yeah, that's and even then, how much are they gonna care of mines right now? Make sure it's not yeah. in any you know shitty condition or anything like that. It's all about the. Uh, that's a good. That's a. You are so fucking right about that though. How good is the wear and tear on this device? That's the question that I know not, a lot of that, people. It's from okay, me. I, I, okay, I, as you've seen, I drop my phone a damn ton of times. You know, yeah. You, you've seen it. Like, and I took good care of it, even though I like, keep dropping the fucker. And the Switch itself, just for me holding it, just for me holding it, comparing it to my phone, I'm not, I know it's not a very good comparison. And honestly, the Switch seems more fragile, more likely to break than my damn phone or my Vita. 
Yeah, it didn't have the build. It does not have the build quality of the um, PS Vita. Yeah, you're right. You're completely right about that. Completely. So that's also a turnout, because okay, because come on, most people that are playing this aren't just adults they're little kids and sometimes the little kids get mad and they're gonna drop the fucker and that's the issue there this thing isn't uh, to me isn't built for you know for for like pe for for people to drop it you know or they get pissed or, or whatever it is not built for that it doesn't look like it's built for that and i feel like nintendo should have taken that into consideration but they didn't you know yeah. And usually, like a family company, and and that you could tell that through the other products that they've sold, that they think this through. What happened there? What happened with the damn switch? Because I don't see it. Yeah, that's completely right, though. And that's something we're just going to have to see what they do in the future and see if they improve on this. All right, so I think now is the best time to let's you know cut this short a little bit. Sorry. <laughs> yep. Yeah, because we went on a little bit too long about this. It, it's one True. one incident. All right, so, so guys, <gasps> you, you first. So yeah, so guys, if you guys have any other like sort of uh, news or information that we don't know, and we don't find it, can you guys tell us down in the comments below, please? Yeah. It would help a little bit. All right, guys. So yeah, you know this this is Nathaniel Clay from Just Press Play and. Hunter. So, guys, take care, okay? Yeah. Yeah, we'll, we'll talk to you guys later. We're just making a quick, you know, update video on the issue. And that is it. See you guys later. Make sure you guys like, subscribe, click that bell notification. It helps us out a lot. And we'll talk to you later.